which uh, got surprise released today for PlayStation VR. Um, fun fact, this is the first VR game that I ever tried, like the first legit VR game. Uh, Microsoft Store was having like a, a demo session for the uh, PC VR headsets, and uh, I thought this was awesome. I mean, obviously I didn't create anything this cool in the time that I had to demo it, but um, we've seen some similar stuff on PSVR. Uh, you know, we got Cool Painter, we got Sculptor VR, but um, this is kind of the top of the heap as far as it goes. Anyways, this is, um, you can look at people's online sketches. And so I just popped into this one. Hey, what's up, guys? Um, this is Grave of the Fireflies. I don't know if you guys have seen that anime, but it just, I thought it was a good way to intro, like, all the particle effects you can do and just, like, all the different textures that you can put together here uh, to make something that looks really cool, like a little diorama scene. So um, I'm still terrible at this, but <laughs> let's look at a couple more of these just to give you an idea of, like, what people can do with this thing. Um... Hey, what's up, Brad? Performance warning. Yes, I'm cool. What's up, Crispy? All right, so when you load somebody's thing from online, you have two options. You can sit here and watch them paint the whole thing, which could be pretty instructive if you want to figure out, like, how they did certain things. Or you can just click the trigger, and it loads up the sketch right away. And, like, look at this fucking thing. This is... I don't even know, man. Um... Well, so as far as if you want to create like 3D models, like uh, sculpt, actually sculpt stuff, then Sculptor is going to be better. And the, the kind of voxel design works a, a lot better in that one for, uh, you know, creating 3D objects and pulling away at them and sculpting, essentially. This is more about painting, but um, obviously, as you can see, there's a lot of shit you can accomplish here. Um, so this is my little toolbox. I'm on advanced mode. I switched over from simple, and there's a lot more options now, it looks like. But let's start with our own. Clear this sketch. We'll start our own. So the first thing we want to do is choose an environment. Got a couple options here. We got space themed, night sky. Not bad. Let's see. So this is cool too, you have primary and secondary lights, and one thing that's super useful for me as a colorblind person is that when you select a color, like say I put it here, it tells me exactly what that color is, cadmium yellow. So like for somebody who is definitely colorblind, this is really, really helpful because if I know, okay, I want to make this blue, my eyes don't tell me that. But look at this in real time, it's, it's saying dark slate blue, midnight blue. Like, this is awesome, um, and no other VR creation tool has anything like that. And so for me, like, as a colorblind dude, that's pretty fucking awesome. I'm not sure exactly how I'm affecting the world with this, but obviously I'm changing the color of the light a little bit. Okay, but that's enough of that. Let's, uh... Oh, wait, backdrop. Yeah, so you can adjust all kinds of cool settings here. Um, go away, lights, I don't need you anymore. Um, like how the sky is, different colors of the sky box. Anyways, but that's just the kind of background stuff. Um, you've got quite a lot of tools to play around with here. Look at all these pages. There's like four or five pages of stuff here. And some of them look so goddamn cool. Like, yeah, right, Brad? Okay, so check this bad boy out. Okay, I'm too far away to see it up close but I love the the living textures of some of these I mean we've seen stuff like this in other painting games on PSVR but there's a lot to these and you can do cool stuff like if you're making flowers they have like a petal pattern so like let's let's make a flower let's try that um, just something simple to do a flower that's got a wiggly branch coming out of the ground This is my favorite one, the squiggly one. I've actually been watching a lot of Dr. Cats lately, so this is like perfect <laughs> squiggle vision stuff. Um, let's see. Let's get some more petals on there. But yeah, I mean, this is really simple. Oh, a tentacle monster. Okay. We could give this guy eyes, and he, he could easily be a tentacle monster. Um, yeah, we'll make him a tentacle monster instead. All right, so this thing that I made, I'm going to get rid of. So let's. Uh, so basically, the way you get through these menus is you press the uh, 
what is it, square and circle? Square and circle button on your left controller, and it spins through these options. That's pretty clever, I think. Uh, okay, let's erase that and that. Okay, I don't... This one needs some more color. It doesn't look that cool yet. Bubbles. Oh, shit. Bubbles, huh? All right, let's change the color up a little bit. Color picker. You know what I don't like, though? On this screen, it doesn't tell you what the... Um, it doesn't tell you what the color is. That's kind of unfortunate. On the other ones, it did... This is cool, though. You can go through the spectrum of light to dark, and then on each of those, there's a slice of pie to, to pick your color from. Anyways, okay, that's that. Let's, uh... Oh, wow. I don't know that I like that. We're just going to undo... Wait, what's the undo button? Ah, there's the undo button. Okay, yeah, I don't like the bubbles that much. Do, 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 do. I don't know if you guys can hear it, and hopefully not too well, um, because I am probably going to get copyright striked if you can hear it, but uh, this, this game is very silent, and I was kind of like bored playing it uh, initially, just because like, there's no sound at all, so I would definitely say hook up your Spotify, you know, do whatever you got to do. Okay, what kind of electric eyes? Let's give this guy electric eyes. Okay. Uh, okay. Doesn't exactly look like a tentacle monster yet, does it? Let's give it a mouth. Probably could use a mouth. Uh, coarse bristles? What do we want to use for this guy's mouth? Hypergrid? We did say tentacle monster, Brian. As soon as you say tentacle monster, Brian shows up. Um, Joe, the tracking is good, although the one thing I'll say is that like all PlayStation VR games, um, you know, so originally Google Tilt Brush was for systems where you could kind of walk around very easily and look at your stuff, you know, from different angles. Uh, and that means that the, the locomotion, like moving around your stuff in this game doesn't feel that great. So you have this, this expand and that, but if you want to move, you got to kind of pull yourself through the world and it's not as precise as it could be. Um, although you do have an option to teleport. Hold on, where is that? You have to go select it, but you can like point at a spot and say, I want to go back there or whatever. And it'll do that. This doesn't really look like a tentacle monster. <laughs> like I said, I'm not actually good at art. But if you're like me and you're not, you can actually use these things in advanced mode that are pretty cool, uh, the guides. So you can pick through the guides here and um, say, for instance, you want to create something that is rounded but you're only painting on that surface and you, you need like a guide for it so check this out uh, if I take let's make a ball of fire how do you guys feel about that a ball of fire all right so as I draw oops hold on oops oops how do I go back okay um what did I do with the guide thing there okay Okay, so see how it's like following the, the edges of the, the circle that I put down? So as long as I start on the edge of the circle, I'm just only following those guidelines there. So if I want to do another layer, um, I can change the color a little bit. And where's the color picker? There it is. We'll make it a little more yellow. Is that yellow? That must be yellow. And then when you start on here, you see you can just it's all sticking to the same circle. So as far as creating um, certain objects, I think that makes it a lot easier, although it looks like it kind of dropped off there for a second. But as long as you kind of stay right on it, you're pretty good. So I think that's a cool feature um, because it's obviously this would be impossible for me to do <laughs> without this guide. Like, I couldn't make a circle look that perfect, obviously. Um, it's like a real circle. So there's that, and then there's the cubes. You can do whatever you want with those, same thing. And um, I think you could make a lot of cool stuff with that. Although this doesn't look that cool. Yeah, I'm just fucking around, guys. Don't expect any great art to come out of this. But I do want to take a trip through other people's stuff um, to show you like what you can do if you're actually good at this kind of thing. Also, um, you can go through models that they have, like featured models here. Like, say we want a Pikachu. Now we got a Pikachu, right? 
then I can just do whatever I want with him. He's just part of my scene now. So he lives on top of this planet. That's planet Pikachu. Uh, this guy is coming to attack him. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Du -du 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 -du. Um, better than Cool Painter and Sculptor? I don't know. So somebody earlier mentioned Sculptor and comparing the two. And I think for what Sculptor does, it's uniquely good. So like the actual sculpting, it is really good for that. I think for drawing stuff, this is better than Cool Painter and um, Sculptor VR. But if you want to sculpt, obviously get Sculptor. But really, the thing for me on this one is, like, this is the game that started everybody wanting to make a game like that anyways. Like, this has been around for a long time. Um, like I said at the beginning of the stream, this is the first VR game that I actually ever played. Uh, like, legitimate VR game that I ever played. Uh, so, yeah, I've had a, I've had a, a longing for this one to come to PSVR for a while. And uh, they just surprise released it, which is fucking bonkers. All right, let's put some, let's make some, I didn't make that Pikachu. Hell no, I didn't make that Pikachu. What sets it apart, I think, is the level of um, options that you have in terms of what you can do with all these different um, patterns. You know, like, Cool Painter has some of these kinds of things that are, like, interactive. And so does Harmonix Music VR, where you can paint stuff. But there's just certain um, kind of patterns here, like... That's a comet. I just drew a comet, and uh, I can make it huge, big old comet. And, like, that was simple, and it's just a cool-looking feature that I didn't have to put a lot of work into. It's already animated for me. It just looks good. If I'm making flowers, obviously this is perfect. So it has a lot of brushes and shit that I think are pretty cool and make it, um, I don't know, it, there's, there's more possibilities for what you could be doing and then also like unlike those other ones you can just hop online and grab anybody's assets and like make your own little scene with it you know like i don't know just put this put this guy in a bed or something you know i don't know no you guess you would sleep the other way so this has got a sleepy dragon now i don't know you can do whatever you want um and i i really actually just like looking at other people's stuff more than i did in cool painter or uh, what you call it? Sculptor. Oh, wow, that is... Look at that, man. Holy shit. Look how detailed that is. That is really cool. Yeah, I mean, there's no rhyme or reason to what I'm doing right here, but this fucking... Whoever made that. Imagine how much time that took, but it looks really good. Hell yeah, I can make myself a little house. All right, what, do we, what else we got in here? Oh, a whole room. Hey, what's up, Ryan? Butterflies, graphics card, three fans, donut. Oh, a fox. I wonder how many pages of this thing there are. Yeah, and, and obviously, uh, you can not only just grab other people's, you can upload your own. So if you hook it up to your Google account, um, you can save your creations to the cloud or whatever, and then you can also share them on their little featured models page or whatever so um i you know it could, could probably have a better way of getting through this because it's really just hit left right till you find something you want but um there's cool stuff in here uh, fire festival meal that's fucking hilarious oh my god somebody made the fucking f oh that's oh, oh that's so good this is that's what this guy eats and he wears these cool shades i said deal with it i'm going to the fire festival bitch all right this is a bunch of nonsense you can see that I've created here, so I'm gonna do a clean slate. We're gonna clear that. I'm gonna clear it up. Yeah, you can grab your own assets from here, but then, oh, Ryan, you know they're totally different. Oh, they got the tents too, this is crazy. AR test, what is this guy? Oh, hey, look at you. Man, people have made some really cool stuff. All right, so let's do like a, um, a a man floating in space scene, right? So we'll we'll start with that, and then we'll just do the rest ourselves. Uh, we're going to get rid of that. Environment shall be space. Yeah. Oh, look, we're already already getting there. I wish I could make his his hands look like they were kind of like he was floating more. But uh, so uh, the comment got cut off, unfortunately. 
All right, so this guy needs like, what does he need? I don't know what he needs, shit. A uh, spaceship? Let's give him a spaceship. I think I can make a spaceship using the guides because this capsule one looks like it might be, this could be like the hull of a spaceship and then I can add some other shit onto it. And you know, actually, funny enough, they have a, uh, where is that? How do I switch my, ah, here it is. Okay, they have ones for hulls, actually. There's like a whole section that's like shiny hull, matte hull. Like, that's pretty cool, right? So if you're making ships, they have stuff for a ship design. Now, I don't know if I want, I want to make this big. But I also want to change the color. What's a cool spaceship color? I guess a lot of them are just white, right? Or gray. Yeah, we'll just go white with this one. So you can see here, it's it's following the... Oops, oops, oops. Okay, let's undo that. Okay, so it's mostly, as long as I stick on the the design here, it's following, like I showed you earlier, so it's going to get a nice like capsule shape to it. Um, and I don't have to worry about being shit at doing this stuff. So I'm just getting both sides. And then we'll give it some some spice. Spruce it up a little bit after this. Uh, quick question. Can you guys hear my background music enough that I would get copyright striked for it? Or is it, like, not audible? Just curious. Okay, so that's the beginning of our little space capsule. Okay, so then we're going to switch to black. I'm going to make this a lot smaller. And then let's switch to shiny hull for this part. I don't know how much different shiny hull is. Unlit hull, shiny hull. Okay. Wait, how come that's not working? Why didn't that work? Oh, shit. Nope, that's not what I want. That's good, yeah. Why is it not working? Okay, I don't know what's happening right now. That's not working at all. Uh, is it maybe too small? Oh, there we go. Okay, it was just too small. All right, so we're going to give it some, like, we're going to say, oh, no, that's not how you do that. I guess you can't write with that one. I was going to write. Just I was just going to write NASA on it. <laughs> I don't have great ideas for this. I'm telling you straight up, I don't have great ideas on it off the top of my head. Uh, let's see. Oh, we could do, like, a hypercolor. What's going on with that? I don't know why that's not working. So something isn't working the way that I expect it to about this. Oh, I guess I could just draw him like... Oh, he's he needs his little cable. There, let's get this guy the cable. Ooh. Okay. It's got a little light on it, kind of like that. Seems like it would be like a space thing, right? Okay, I just want to write NASA on this thing, honestly. Uh, it's a spaceship. Get out of here. Okay, nope, that's not what I want. Undo. Okay, it looks like some of the shit is actually in here. Alright, so there's, I guess there's some issue if you cover this with a certain amount of crap. It doesn't want to stay on that plane anymore. I wonder if I added another capsule guide that's slightly bigger, if I could just paint on top of that. Let's try that. Wait, can I make it bigger? How do I make you bigger? I'm not, I don't know how to do this. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Look at that! Okay. We're just going to make it like a slightly bigger one, and we'll paint on the outside of that. From a distance, it'll look like correct. Up close, it'll look like shit. But we'll deal with that when we get to it. So we're going to go black. Straight black. NASA. Yeah, see? <laughs> There's like a shadow from the letters on the <laughs> Incredible. Incredible. Yeah, so this is that's a spaceship. Now, the, the one thing I don't know... Oh, you can turn off the guides. Okay, cool. Yeah, there's a button for toggling the guides. There we go. Great. Perfect. Looks just like a space shuttle. 
this guy doesn't have enough light around him, so let's let's give some stuff that lights up. Maybe like he's surrounded in stars. How big? How big is that? Can I change the size? Okay, sometimes you can't change the size. There we go, look at him, he's having a great time. Uh, do -do. Does the space shuttle vibrate? Not at the moment. It looks like it would. <laughs> Damn it, I need to add another part to this. Okay, fine, 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 fine. That, that's not what a spaceship looks like, I get it. Uh, damn it, Ryan, don't brag. I do wish they had a couple other shapes here. Because, I mean, I know you can make a lot with cubes and spheres and capsules, but I want this to re really look like a spaceship, and I don't know how to make that happen. Um, maybe let's give it, like, a, a wing? Give it a wing. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Oh, I wonder if I... Maybe if I... I have an idea. I don't know if this is going to work. Uh, no, that's not going to work. Okay. <laughs> um, if I use this guide here, then I can make like a wing on the side. I don't know. I'm making the f world's first NASA vibrator, and there's a big astronaut in space connected to it. I don't know what's going on, guys. Sorry, I'm sorry. I don't know. <laughs> ah, shit. You want some fire. Okay, right. Oh, no. First, I got to make the fucking wing. Uh, Matt Hull. Okay. No, that's that's the wrong color. Oh, well. It's fine, actually. See, and now when I get rid of the guide, it almost looks like, uh... <laughs> it almost looks like it's attached, right? There we go. Hey, look at that. It's got a wing. That's like a spaceship wing, right? Sure. Um, I'm coming up with something here. We'll get it. We'll get it. We'll have uh, have the fire coming out of the back, of course, because it is a it is an active space shuttle. I get a little bit of fire out of the back here. Oh, wrong color though. Got to be red or orange. Is that orange? Is that fire? Is that really fire? You say you're fire, but. Thought it would be animated. All right, here we go. This is okay. We're blasting off into space. This guy's just hanging on the backside of it. Um, curly wires, curly wires. We get curly wires. Oh, some smoke too. Hold on. Yeah, there you go. That really sells. Oh, that's too way too much smoke. <laughs> just a light spattering. Eh, maybe not even any smoke. Maybe it should be a different color. Spending way too much time thinking about this, but. Okay, uh, bu -bu -bu. you want some wires hanging off this thing, he said. Got to put some duct tape on the side. Uh, there is one that said it was a wire, I think. Do, 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 do. Oh, there's the light wires. I kind of like the light wires. Those are kind of cool. <laughs> this doesn't make sense for a spaceship to have attached to it. Um... Maybe we could have another guy. Let's have another one of these guys. Let's get another astronaut in here. We need more than one. Uh, where was he? Damn, I'm going to have to go deep to get this guy. Get, uh, hold on. I'm going to move this shit. It's like right in the middle of my stuff. All right. B -b 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 where's our little astronaut? Is that him? Yeah, there we go. Excuse me, sir. Oh, he's a bigger one. He's much bigger. There we go, now he's all hooked up. Yeah, grabbing assets right, left and right. Okay, so we got that guy. We need to give him a little bit of something or other. Some stars behind him. Ooh, maybe he's riding on a chromatic wave. Oh man, he's yeah, he's got this guy's going through some like temporal disturbances, right? This is there's something going on like a wormhole here. Okay, we're going to have to have some kind of wormhole coming from behind this guy with all these cool things coming out of it. 
Uh, what's the best way to make a wormhole? That's a good question. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Yeah, what the hell? What do you use for a wormhole? Yeah, there's a wormhole behind him. Alright, this is not what a wormhole would look like, but I'm going to try something here. I'll try something different. That actually kind of works. That looks pretty good. Okay, I'm going to move it. I'm going to undo that and move it up a little bit so it's like right here. Holy shit. That worked out way better than I expected it to. Maybe give it like a little bit of a, a different color around the edges. Could make it like a blue. Is that blue? I don't know. Who knows? A little smaller. Fuck yeah. This is actually coming together pretty well. I mean, it's not the best spaceship I've ever seen, but it's kind of a cool scene. I like how this provides light too. Like the, the paint actually. Or the brush that I'm using actually adds some cool features to it. Uh, what do we want? Put some wires around the wormhole. I don't know. I wonder if there's aliens. You think I could find an alien in this uh, catalog? Let's see if they got any aliens in here. Pikachu's not a good alien. Stormtrooper squad. Oh, at -AT -AT. Holy shit. Wait, wait, wait. I got this. Where's this guy? Okay, you're a little too big. We're gonna... You're gonna be in the background. You're gonna be... Hold on. I need to move... Oh, wow. I made him really small. Uh... Okay. This is a pretty good model, actually. Come on, let's get this guy smaller. Just like a teensy little AT, AT up there. I like it. Okay. Uh, what else do we got in this library? Stormtrooper squad, huh? Is that an alien? Now that's a little ducky. A little little ducky? A little chirp, chirp, chirp. Okay, uh, how do I delete things? Hey, what's up, Drew? Okay, that's how I get rid of them. Ooh, a Mayan temple. My little pony. I just want to find an alien, though. We could have a guy skiing off the side of the, the mountain. Or not the mountain, the, the planet. He's just going for a ride here. All right. I'm gonna move him over here, make him a little smaller, like that. Alright, so he is gonna be jumping off. He's escaping from the Imperial Guard. He's flying off, going this way, and uh, we need to give him, like, correct angle. He's leaving like that, and then some fire on his ass. We'll give him some fire. What color? Oh, I'm inside. This is nice. Inside these little sparkles. Okay, uh, color. Actually, no, no, not fire. I don't want to do fire. Give him something else. Maybe a waveform? Yeah, this is him, like, zooming off the surface. You can see he got some space wind behind him. I don't know. Yeah, that part doesn't really read very well from back here. This really, uh, this is like my favorite part of the whole shit. That is really cool looking. All right, I'm just making a little uh, tapestry here. Alfred Hitchcock, that's cool. Castle of cool guys. <laughs> Cartoon Snake. To oh, Toy Rocket! You gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh my god, I've been sitting here trying to make it. I guess I can't separate it from the... 
Man, I've been sitting here trying to make a rocket this whole time. This guy's already got me beat. Look how good that is. This is what people who actually have talent can do right here. <laughs> this is what I can do. <laughs> okay, we're going to get rid of that. Nope. 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 If they had one that was free floating there, that would be pretty helpful. Giant spiders. Everybody loves spiders in VR, right? Poodle on motorcycle. Oh, this person's definitely got to be flying, flying through space. Yeah. A little smaller. Maybe they're coming out of the wormhole? No. Eh. I mean, they could be coming out of the wormhole if I had set this up different. I guess they could be coming out at a different angle. They're just coming this way. Whoosh. All right, how do we make it look like this guy just like broke through the warp barrier and he's just like flying on his little scooter? Maybe embers? Give him some embers. Can't really see what that did. Oh yeah, now he's got embers floating up from him. Oh, the whole thing could have that. Oh, that looks way cooler. Fuck yeah, that's really good. Uh, give this guy a little bit of waveform coming behind him. Boop. 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 I don't know if that's even working, but... This is actually looking better than I expected it to, mainly because I'm allowed to use other people's assets. And some of these brushes are really goddamn cool. Yeah, no, I mean, when I display... I feel like I'm just playing with toys. Um, comparing to Sculptor VR, it's obviously not going to be as good at 3D sculpting stuff. But compared to uh, Cool Painter and Sculptor for this kind of thing, um, just like general 3D painting and messing with cool brushes that do all kinds of fun effects like this. Um, and just for having all these assets, I think Tilt Brush, I mean, it was the original, and it's still probably the best. Unless you want to sculpt, in which case, of course, Sculptor VR would be your thing. Oh, we got a guillotine, huh? Mr. Bucket. Hmm... Old TV, absolute unit raccoon. I'm hoping I could find an alien in here somewhere. A robot, I guess, could suffice. Oh, yeah, this guy looks like he should be floating around in space. Oh, wait. Hmm. All right, so this guy, the mechanical overlord overseeing... The entire operation here. He's got to have some real... He's like a fucking mega robot. All right, let's, let's take a look at this guy. Oh, yeah. This is all his creation, see? He's in charge of the fucking Star Wars bad guys. And uh, he just came to wreck these... He's astronauts' day, man. Has, has no respect for NASA. Oh, shit, he should be grabbing the spaceship, shouldn't he? He's coming to grab that shit. Yeah, I got him. Very good. Man, I love playing with these assets, man. People have done some really good shit in here. Demon portal. What's a demon portal? I must know. What is that? I don't know if I like that too much. Is this another robot? I have a feeling this one's going to be really weird and creepy looking. Wow. That's something. Maybe he's like the guy who opened the uh, the wormhole. And this is all coming from his brain. Yeah, that works. His, his brain cavity thing, this is whatever he's got, is the thing creating the wormhole. Whoosh! Viewer takeover happens on Mondays usually, but then it actually gets aired on Tuesdays. That's the way we do it. Did you say Space Fighter? Oh, they said Space Fighter. Look at this bad boy. Alright, we're going to have some lasers shooting out of these guys. Uh, how do we get a good laser? What would be the best laser? Is there like a neon kind of thing? 
paper, duct tape, splatter. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, you can make an intro like this weekend, although there's one in the queue already. Um, I think Brian mentioned last week there's, yeah, there's one in the queue. Maybe just light beams that are yellow? I don't know what, I hope that's yellow. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's, it looks kind of crappy, but. Ooh. All right, I want to have like a little bit of a thing that looks like there's like something's coming out here. Like, there we go. Okay, so he's shooting this guy. And then there's got to have to be some kind of explosive, you know, some explosive shit going on as a result of that. I don't know if this is going to look explosive or not. Oh, that looks kind of cool, actually. Hit him right in the crotch, too. Look at that. Didn't even mean to, but that's what happens. And I really like being able to play with these assets. That's pretty goddamn cool. Just fucking around, seeing what's in here, and putting together your own little scene. Damn, there's all these robots I can use. Long live the Black Panther. Nice. The cockpit. What is the cockpit? Oh, man. It'd be cool to be like, wow, that's fucking crazy. Whoa, look at this thing. Oh, my God. What? That's really cool. Huh. Now I wonder... Oh no, get out of here. I don't want these models anymore. Get get me out of here. I wonder if I can make it seem like I'm just riding in the cockpit while I'm looking over at this scene. That's kind of cool. Whoosh. Damn, that's cool. I really like this game. The scale is way off if I'm supposed to be inside that thing, but still cool. All right, get out of here. Boop, 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 boop. The only thing is when you close this for a second, you got to start all the way at the beginning and scroll through. So if the one you were just looking at is like 10 pages in, you got to go deep and find it again. Look, link in description, stereoscope. Ba, 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 ba. Ooh, an epic sax. Alien jetpack go. This is what I've been looking for the whole time. Oh, yeah, dude. Perfect. Okay, this guy, where is he coming from? I don't know. Maybe I can't use this guy. I've already got so many things going on here. Maybe he's coming out of here too. Fuck it. Everybody's trying to get away from this thing. Oh, nice, Joe. Yeah, there's definitely a theme. Space combat something i don't know all right you know guys i'm a little bit uh oh well so brad it can be i mean i can go and i love this too this is a cool scale it shows you dinosaur scale and then like human scale dog scale squirrel scale the only thing like i said it's kind of hard to get around the world like it's not too smooth moving around but once you get all close, this looks really cool. I want to go see how my um, my laser things look over here. I'm going to teleport. Teleport. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that looks really cool. All right, so we're looking good here. I'm going to teleport back. Scale down a little bit. All right. Do, 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 do. What shall we do? Oh, you can take pictures too. I forgot about this. It'll save it to like your Google 
account if you set up your Google account, I think. What does this guy look like? Oop. So I'm not facing the right way at all. Uh, you can export models to like to Google or whatever. Um, okay. Ooh, that's a cool picture. Um, I don't know where the snapshots are going right now, but you can see in the main options thing down here, it says sign in to link your account to your Google account, and then you can upload. Um, I think those will go into your your cloud account or whatever. Ooh, firewall. Have fun, man. No, Alex, there's a few other ones. There's one called Sculptor VR, and there's one called uh, Cool Painter VR. And there's also a small mode inside Harmonix Music VR. But this is my favorite one so far, I think. It's pretty cool. All right, so I'm going to save this one, because actually I, I feel OK about this one. It's got a little thumbnail and everything. Add it to my sketchbook. OK, so let's see what else people have made. Because I've been fooling around on here for a minute. And I want to see, like, completed scenes by some people. Ooh, I looked at this one a second ago. This thing is cool. Yeah, man, I'm just playing with my assets, Ryan. That's what I like. But now I'm going to look at other people's stuff for a minute. Just to bask in the glory of... Uh, talent okay so as you can see this um happens in real time so i can watch what he's doing here um it's kind of a time lapse i guess but this is see this is someone who knows what they're intending to do from the very beginning and actually knows how to make a fish look like a fish i wonder how they got the eyes like that i guess they probably used the circle guides and left part of it blank that looks pretty cool Is that the whole thing? I guess that's the whole thing. Looks pretty good, though. Ah, fish spits fire. Fuck it. Okay. Uh, what else we got in here? Boop, 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 boop. Sci-fi action scene, hey? Damn. Damn, dude. How do you know how to do this? Wow, look, people are good at this. Holy shit. That looks cool. How did they do all this part? I want to teleport over there and take a look at it. Wait, where's my thingy? Man, that looks cool. That's really fucking cool. I do wish there were like click turning buttons in this game, so, so I didn't have to like turn my body around so much or twist the world, because the twisting the world feels awkward. But damn, son, people are good at this shit. <laughs> Look into your darkness. Oh, wow, it put me inside this guy's crotch. Okay. Can we load the next one? <laughs> okay. Oh. I really like being able to see this time-lapse thing. That is quite cool. Oh wow, the way the hair is like flowing, that's interesting. Yeah, this is the time lapse of how the people drew it. This is like every stroke in order. Um, you can skip it if you want to, but this is incredible. Look at this. And actually watching it play out as it gets drawn is really, really cool. Wow, what was that one called? Look into your darkness. Holy shit. 
That is awesome. Yeah, I'm never going to be able to make stuff like this, but I'm glad that I could look at it, at least. Whoa, whoa, wait a sec. We loaded in with a full boat already? Oh, shit. Those runes look awesome. And <laughs> Joe, chill. Oh, wow, this is awesome. Hold on, I need to take a look at some of this stuff. All these guys on the boat? That is so creepy. That's really well done. I like that a lot. The atmosphere and everything. Wow. Very cool. And what else we got? Oh yeah, I've heard about people doing stuff like that, using creations from this in other, like in VR concerts and shit. AR orangutans. I'll look at some orangutans. Are they all the way over there? Wait, where are they? Is he still working on this tree? How detailed is this tree going to be? Oop, I'm quick loaded because I couldn't tell what was going on. Oh, shit. Wow, look at the lighting and stuff. Okay, I need to change my scale a little bit here. Ooh, this looks like it's going to be nice. Oh, man. Okay, yeah, that is cool. Wow, just like the sense of atmosphere that people can design in this is it's very cool. Look at this guy. <laughs> oh my god, that's really detailed. Up close? Wow. What up, guys? That is really cool. Oh, a few people have Mandalorian ones I've seen. If you're a Star Wars fan. Frog and Toad trapped in a web. Ooh, Breath of the Wild Master Sword Forest. Don't mind if I do. Sometimes they'll give you a performance warning uh, if people have really, really complex stuff. I don't know why they won't just immediately let me click this. Like, how long do you want me to stare at it for? There we go. They really make you wait. Okay. That's a really good Master Sword. I wonder if they took that from somebody else's asset or if they made that themselves, because that, that thing is, like, really good looking. Wow, look at the fucking detail on this thing. You've got to be playing. That Look how precise it is. How did you even do that? I don't even believe that. What the fuck? They're putting a lot of layers into the grass here. I like it. Some of these are, like, more immediately satisfying to look at as someone's painting them. Um, you know, like, I don't know. Oh, maybe it is pre-built. You know, I bet you they have, uh, you can probably import 3D models from other stuff if you're on PC or something, I bet. I wonder if you could do that here, like, through your Google account? That would be cool. Ooh, nice. Okay, I'm going to skip to the end just because I'm, I'm getting impatient. Whoa, what the fuck? That's what what that's what it looked like? Holy shit, that came a long way. Damn, look at that beam of light and stuff. Hey, what's up, Dead Ringer? So the only thing that I will say, um, when they say that there might be a performance issue when you load the high complexity ones, um this one is very high complexity, and I can tell there is a notable um kind of blurriness to the way it's rendered compared to some of the other ones. Um, you can probably see on your end, too, that it's it's a lot blurrier uh, compared to some of the other ones. But damn, that is fucking cool. Wow, people are crazy.
Okay, hold on. Okay. Kip, bip, bip. Giraffe cruising. Thanos and Iron Man. Ooh, Cyberpunk Night. Ooh, how did they make that? That looks really cool. Those little kind of zoop, zoop, zoops. Yeah, I can mess with these scenes. Um, I can add stuff to them. I can just, you know, mess around. Um, I can remove stuff. I can make stuff. Yeah, no, you can you can totally edit anything that you load in. Wow, look at that like waterfall of color coming off the side. That's so cool. Damn. So yeah, some people know what they're doing. Is he done? No, he's still going. What's he making now? I don't even see where the painting is. Oh, oh, okay, here we go. Yeah, these people are actual artists, I gotta say. I think these people are just regular artists. Because <laughs> this is... Look at that! That is really fucking cool. Man, I could just cruise these things for, like, hours and hours and hours. I wonder how many there are. It's been out for years, so there's got to be a ton of these things. Oh, I don't see anything now. Oh, performance warning again. Well, it's going to be a crazy one. Yeah, no problem, Deadringer. Yeah, I think this is going to be a good pickup for anyone creative or just like, you know, how I, I, I wasn't really making so much of my own painting, but being able to play with assets and just kind of set up your own little scene, you know, like that space guy scene I made. It's fun. It's like playing with toys. If you're a kid or a kid at heart, I feel like you'll have a good time with this, even if you're not super duper artistically inclined yourself, because I know I'm never going to make any of this stuff. Um, okay, what are we making? What do we got? It's a bridge, perhaps? Wow. What's he drawing now? Ooh, water looks good. And just sit up on the bridge and watch him paint. I like trying to get to human size. There we go, now I'm human size. Yeah, that's not exactly human size. <laughs> Maybe more like... It's hard to get actual scale. Like, you feel like you're a real person looking out, but that is a cool looking ocean. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing we did with the Zelda one, and we're gonna jump ahead in time and see what the final product looks like, because I have a feeling it's gonna be bonkers, just like the Zelda one was. Because when they tell me it's a high, oh yeah, man. That's cool. Damn. All right, people, people know what's up. People can do some good shit in this game. I'm gonna check out like one or two more and then I'll probably wrap it up. I uh, gotta eat something. Kinda hungry. All right, where are we, what are we looking at? Oh, another one with high complexity. All right, where is this painting happening? Oh, here we go. Yeah, I wish I could move a little easier through the world. Like, pulling yourself towards stuff takes a little bit of effort. It's not as easy as in some other ones. 
Wow, the lighting. Look at those reflections on the... That's really cool. Oh, shit. Oh, you're kidding. There's like... There's like a moth, like a bug particle effect, it looks like, coming up. That's crazy. Okay, we're gonna... We're gonna whoa, the reflection in the... Oh my god, you gotta be fucking kidding me. How did he do that? It's upside down. There must be some kind of... I think there is a mirror option. That must be with the mirror. But he's recreating the entire interior as a reflection. Oh my god. What the fuck? People are crazy. Shit. Wow. Oh, and it's raining too. Fuck yeah. This is awesome. I really like this one. The oh, the raindrops. Wow. <laughs> People are so good at this. Okay, I'm going to jump to the very end. I think we were almost there. Wow. Holy shit, the reflections on the... That is incredible. What the fuck? Man, I don't think I'll get tired of looking at these. That's impeccable. Look at this. Holy fuck. I never thought I'd just be in VR standing looking at a cafe and being mind blown, but this people are bonkers. Okay, um, <laughs> shit, we'll see if they can top that one. We'll try one more. What would be a good one? Spider-Man Portals, Peaceful Barbarian, The Big Swing. Hibernation House. For the animals of Australia. I want to see Hibernation House. That sounds cool. Man, I'm picking a lot of them that have uh, high complexity. The one thing that I feel like on you know on PlayStation this kind of loses is you know on PC or, or on a on a different headset that doesn't use the tracking system that we have uh, I could just walk around this thing in my room instead of trying to teleport like I could just walk up to the door walk inside like you know like a real person and that would be really cool but this is still I am so glad we got this this is fucking awesome. Ooh, what is in here? Oh, shit. That's a nice cave. Damn. A wa no, a waterfall? You gotta be fucking kidding. Is this a waterfall? Yes. Ooh, the, oh, wow, okay, all right. Good particle effects. Okay, we're gonna quick load it. I wonder how much more there was to that. It looks like there's quite a bit left to load. Whoa, 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 hold on a fucking second. Damn. Man, like I said, these high complexity ones are blurry, very noticeably blurry. But when you look at the level of detail, it's insane. Wow, man. Jeez. And I love how the snow is subtly falling. It's always in motion. Wow, fuck. Okay, well, this is <laughs> it's a good example of something that I will never be able to make. But wow, I'm so glad we can explore this stuff and take a look at what other people have done. 
because this is really impressive stuff. And I hope some people out there, you know, artists or art inclined will be able to cook up something cool that I can take a look at. You know, share stuff with me if you make something. Um, I don't know how you link people to your creations or anything, but maybe there's a way. But uh, yeah, I want to see what you guys make. Yeah, thanks for tuning in. This is, uh, for me, this is like a must get now. I, I was a little bit, I don't know, with games like this, I'm not that artistically inclined visually myself, and I'm not good at creating stuff like this, but just being able to play with the assets and look at what other people have made is, I think, going to be like endlessly interesting. So definitely grab this one, guys, if you're at all interested in this sort of thing. Um, cool on Google for surprise releasing it. And fun fact, actually, the people who made uh, Falcon Age and Dino Frontier are the ones who helped them port this to the PSVR. Um, Google needed help, and they had a working relationship, I guess, and, you know, ha them having worked on uh, its Outer Loop games. Uh, you know, Chandana Ekanayake or something? I think that's how you say his name. Brian interviewed him on Without Pearl. But um, really cool guy over there at Outer Loop Games, and I'm so glad that they were able to help Google get this brought over to PlayStation VR, because fuck yeah. All right, guys. Well, I'll catch you next time around. As always, thanks for tuning in. Hope you have a good weekend. Uh, stay safe. Stay inside. Wash your hands. You know the deal. Don't get sick. Stay safe. Later, folks.